Okay, transforming this two-story foyer by painting these 1992 honey-colored handrails, banister rails, from this color to and black. Sanding, which I've begun here, sanding with the 220 grit sandpaper. And after I rinse all that off, we'll move to priming. So this is a pretty laborious process, uh, but I would not advise skipping it because uh, you need to abrade that surface or scratch up that surface so that the primer and your new paint will stick to it well, else you'll be painting again. This is the kind of what you get on there, which you'll come back and wipe off after you've done it with a, a wet rag before you, before you prime the surface. This is about probably 40 to 45 linear feet of railing, and that's just the, the top brown, not this lower stuff down here on the steps. That took me about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to sand it. Again, what you really need to do. Now I'm going to move on to clean this dust off with a wet rag. And then I'll put on the oil-based kills. And then I'm going to use a black semi-gloss, also oil-based paint because oil is uh, more resistant and this is a high touch Area. It's harder to put on than your water-based paints, but it's going to last longer. Okay, so after you wipe off all the sanding dust, you can sort of, I don't know if you can see here or not, but there's a slightly abraded surface. Okay, another thing you may want to do before you paint is to tape off anywhere you don't want to get paint. Not that complicated, but... Some people consider that cheating, but I consider it smart. You could also, if you're watching your dimes and nickels, you can also use a piece of acrylic or a credit card to tightly hold it against that when you're painting, which, for example, I will do when I do this because it's just too hard to tape off. Here's the beginning with the kills going on. And remember, this is an oil-based kills. So you have to use mineral spirits or turpentine or something to clean up, not water. And as you paint something like this and you're reaching through and doing this motion with the brush, recall that you're getting paint or you're getting paint on the other side which will bead up and you have to be careful of that. Also, this type of thing, if you leave bumps like this on the spindles, you'll have to go back and sand that. So try not to leave drips or marks of that nature which we'll have to go back and sand again. This is a little heavy here too so clean those up so when you come back and paint your spindles which is not fun. Here's an example of what I'm talking about here if you have a drag over here where you have a bubble of paint you want to make sure you don't leave any of that to avoid having to come back and sand it. Now you can also roll this for the final finish I may consider that so it helps keep some of these brush strokes This out. is a primer coat with his kills. It's not supposed to look like a finished white paint product. Don't try to make it that way if you've not used primer really before. Heavy, heavily trafficked areas like this turn at the top of our stairs. You can see how black into this knob is and it was actually black up under here. I'm putting a little heavier primer on there. And you may want to put a little heavier coat on the end. It may sound like a small point, but as you paint, if you're especially if you're on stairs, which I guess you would have to be, wait to do these sort of turning pieces last so that you can hold on to that for balance and just steadiness as you paint to certain distances, then come back and, and do that at the end as long as you can keep it even. Just helps make a little steadier job. I should have also mentioned from the very beginning, obviously if you like the wood grain look, which this is or originally was before it began to wear out, uh, what I'm doing here is, is not going to sustain that wood grain look. This is essentially covering it up. If you want to go back and add a wood grain look later, you can. There's a way to, to do that. It's pretty laborious to do, but you can do it. So once I finish this 
uh, primer and then put the, the black on, it's going to basically make it look smooth coat, not no longer wood grain, which is my intention. Okay, so priming took about an hour and a half. And the next step is I will uh, do the black paint. I'm not sure if I'm going to roll it or brush it. I'm probably going to try to roll and we'll see how that looks. And then the final step on that dries is to put a polyurethane over the top of that to help seal it in and give it some, some effect. So I started painting with the uh, black semi-gloss gloss oil and I rolled the top surfaces and then uh, have to paint the other surfaces with the brush but in the end I think really the brush is going to be the way to go. Here's a post that I've done. The brush marks show a little bit but they should recede. Uh, so I would recommend just using a fine, a very good brush. So now I finished the rail with the semi-gloss black and I've determined that these brown step edges are going to also have to be black. I don't like the white, black, and brown together along with these wainscoting colors in the carpet. So I'll be painting these steps black so we'll have a, basically a black and white effect. Day two of the painting project and I'm beginning to put kills on the wooden edges of the staircase as you can see here. I decided to kills put uh, primer on that as well before I paint it black to match this. The rail turned out pretty well. A few brush marks that I'll have to try to fix which probably will require some sanding before I repaint it. I should also mention that I'm using a combination of taping off the carpet as you can see here and a straight edge such as this which allows you to paint without getting paint on anything you don't want to get paint on. I don't really care about these spindles because I'm going to go back and prime them and paint them a, a glossy white in the end anyway. But when it comes to this when I'm painting the black I can use this to avoid getting black on there. Okay, making some progress now with the black on the steps. You can see how it changes. The overall look. Once these spindles are painted a high gloss white, it will really pop out against the black. Okay, so here's the near final product. I still need to put the polyurethane on, but I probably won't videotape that. I still have the tape on there, but once we take the tape off and we paint these spindles white, it'll look good. All in all, this 45 or so linear feet of rail plus the steps took about 20 to 22 hours uh, single person. Okay, so now I'm down to the last step, which is the polyurethane to go over the final coat. I've done this already. And that protects and, and gives it a little sheen, which I think you can see what it does for that.